Well, as you can hear, or probably hear, it's raining again. Started the week raining, it's ending the week raining. Uh, let's see. You can't actually see it's raining, but it is raining. Um, right, not going to do a lot tonight. But what I have got plans to do is that storage container we cleared out. So I'm going to chip over this cable. I didn't know that cable's running like that one. Uh, yeah, in that storage container there was, is, whatever, some old car seats which actually aren't in bad condition. And what the plan is going to do, or going to be, I should say, is to put them in the big zeta because you see in here the state of that is pretty falling apart. I don't think I'm going to do it tonight, but what I am going to do is just measure the bases and see if they will fit. I think I'm a little bit say, concerned about it. It's obviously they're quite a high back seat, which might be a bit of a pain for leaning over for operating the forklift, but yeah, there shouldn't be too much trouble. So I suppose what I need to do is have a measure. Alright, let's have a look. Let's have a here. Turn that around so I can see what I'm doing. Alright. So we are roughly to the centres, 400 mil. And, um, back to back. Yeah, that's it. 310. The sensors are, they can hear me, I'm numbering a bit, aren't I? We're 400mm sensors on the back. So this must hook in somewhere under here. So, right. So, if you can remember, 400mm sensors, 310 back. We have a measure now in the tractor. Seen here. Uh, yeah. so if I'm going to be in shot, but you might yeah, hear me. And they're much, much wider. Bugger. These are only 325 mil centers. Uh, lots of holes here though. They don't look actually going to be like much trouble to get this out. Mm. Right, what do we do? Do we take the seat out and try it? The only thing I'm worried it's a bit wider. Might interfere with the controls as well down here. Right, we switch the camera off, I'm going to ponder. Hmm. The actual seat's the same width, um, 500mm wide, roughly. So, uh, it's quarter past five on a Sunday night, I might leave it tonight. But I'm saying there's only three, well, six screws to undo, and this seat will come out. Might have got taking it out. Well, that was a struggle to get out, but that's not fixed in yet. I've just laid it in there and fits in there quite nice, I think. So what I've got to do, I'm not going to do it tonight, I don't think. I think it took 20 minutes to get that seat out, it was hard work. Uh, and so what I've got to do now, Yes. 
gonna make like a something that will fit onto the the old chair. You can't see a lot here, but it's just so these runners will then pick up on it, and then they can just be bolted back in, and it'll still slide. Then, so yeah, I might have to ponder that tonight. That's going to be about it then. Right, thank you. Right, so following day, um, a little ponder on mounting these seats in, or seat, I should say, only one, isn't there? Um, and what the plan I've come up with, because I want to keep the overall height as low as practical, what I'm going to do, it's just an off cut of box section here, but I'm going to cut that so it fits in, recess there, that will bolt in then with a front and back. And then what I can do then is drill these uh, was it 325mm centres then for the frames to fit in, or the tracks I should say, and it should just bolt in then. So what I'm going to do, I don't really think you want to see me just cutting metal and drilling it, so what I'll do is I'll make the brackets up and then you know, sort of you know, so show you once the brackets are made and cut and then we'll we'll go and fit them in the tractor. Well, that ended up being a damn sight bigger job than I thought it was going to be. Um, the original plan wouldn't work. Uh, so I ended up having to make a, like a, a complete subframe to fit in. So I'm just going to offer it in now for the first time. Hopefully... Right, well if you, you probably can't see, but one of the holes just isn't lining up, I don't know why. Because when I welded these in, I actually had it bolted in, tacked them, whereas they've obviously moved, you know, after I welded, while I was welding it. So I'm just going to try, you know, clamp on, there we go, just put it over a touch. Not, 
see, it's actually not a very good nut. Right, what I'm going to do is put a bit of a chamfer on the top of that nut. is um, get the tap and die set and just clean this out. Just a touch, the actual frame on this is a touch wider than the, the original one. I didn't want to end up making it too tall either because I think this chair is a little bit thicker cushioned than the, the original Zeta one. And I didn't want it so it was awkward getting under the steering wheel because obviously the steering wheel is not adjustable on that. Try now, seeing if it won't fit in. Oh, right. So, is it going to fit? There's a lot of holes here, so it should line up on some of them.
Whew. Well, I got it in. It weren't easy. With, well, everything did line up, but so that's a bit lot bigger chair than it was originally. It don't look too bad. A little bit concerned. I can't. Well, it does limit access to that back window over there. Um, it's actually not, I was a bit worried it'd be hot, oh, good to get in and out of, but as you press down on it, obviously it drops away and sinks down, you're, you're okay there. It's about the same as it was before, actually, that was. Oh, I'm out of breath, it's quite warm, actually. Right, well, that's about it. Thank you for watching, so I don't know how much of that I'm going to edit out, because there was a lot of it was just, this is me putting a screw in, this is me putting another screw in. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching, and... Speak to you all later.